As you just saw and uh, may have seen in the last video, my tire had a pretty catastrophic failure. There's the dog back there. Anyway, that was a major bummer. After a super long couple weeks of waiting and not being on the bike, this has finally arrived. So we're gonna go put that on today. I also picked up a pair of these pegs. With the S1 being an older model and a lot of people moving to the S2 or the R series, I haven't seen a whole lot of information on pegs for the S1. It doesn't have the same mounting spots. And with the risks involved in putting pegs on the axle bolts, I didn't want to do that. So I bought these for super cheap on Amazon and uh, I'm gonna see if I can finagle these onto the frame somehow. I'm kind of worried about doing them this way and then having them start to tilt down after a while. So I may end up just scrapping these all together, but uh, they were super cheap. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But before we go outside and do those things, uh, I did want to talk about Instagram. You may or may not have seen that my Jado Rides Instagram got hacked over the weekend. It's been super frustrating. I've been going through all of the possible channels that I could think of. Long story short, it's been super frustrating. I've gotten no answers at all. I was able to change my password um, on the old one, so I can still get into the account, but I can't change anything. I can't access anything. It asks for my phone number uh, to send a confirmation code, and uh, then it doesn't send ever. So I don't know if somebody's actually controlling that account um, or if it's just locked out, but um, I currently do not have access to it. So I have a new account. Uh, it's Jado Rides 73 I am kind of bummed about it because all of my videos on here do point to that other account. So I'm hoping I can either get that account back at some point or get enough of you guys to go report it so that it'll get deleted and I can eventually take my name back. I don't really know what my other options are at this point. Anyway, that's that. I don't want to harp on that for too long. Just help a brother out, go report the old Jado Rides account, and go follow the new Jado Rides 73 account. I would super appreciate that. Anyway, let's head outside and get this new uh, tire and tube put on and see if we can get these pigs installed. Super toast. So this is 
side. For now, what I think is the easiest way to do this is to inflate your tire a little bit, just so it takes its shape. All right, that's good. You wanna check the inside of the tire for anything that might be poking. Looks good to me. All right, so then you wanna stick the tube inside. There we go. This is forward, so this is going to be on the chain side. This will be brake disc side. So let's flip this guy over. Let's line up. Man, my brain upside down. Alright, so we want to line up the valve with the valve hole. Then we just want to work the bead onto the rim. Alright, let's flip the bad boy over. Now we want to give it a little bit of air. So we want to go all the way around and just make sure that that bead is properly seated. We want even space. We don't want a bunch of gaps. So it is not even. Got some spots that are not properly seated. So let's look at this again. I was hoping it would kind of seat itself, but look at that. I don't know if you can see, the spacing here is not even. You want it to sit in this little rim right here. So let's see if we can get it into that spot. So that was a bit of a chore. So we have moved into the garage because it is uh, it has gotten pretty hot out there in the sun. I was not able to seat this tire properly on my own, so I had to take it down to uh, Pedigo to uh, have them wrestle with it. And after a good 20, 30 minutes of them wrestling with it, they were able to uh, get it all seated. So we are ready to go back on find our anti-rotation washers I'm still not positive these are supposed to go on the inside but I am just going to reassemble the way they had it so let's get the chain out of the way and go this down so we can get this in there all right let's get that on properly that looks right let's get our nuts back on there all right let's pull them back a little bit check tension it's pretty good spacing looks good sounds good let's crank this bad boy down sounds good something's up with my fender it's a little crooked but whatever Looks good, sounds good. Now we want to reconnect our hub, line up the arrows, push those back together. All right, before we zip tie that down, I wanna see if I can mount those pegs. Let's see if we can do this. Nope, 
it's not gonna work. Not a big deal. Alright, now we need to just re-zip tie that hub cable in place. I'm using these little zip ties. Hopefully those are strong enough. Alright, one more. Alright, I'll snip those. Alright, we'll flip this bad boy back up. seated in the rim properly. Um, I was not able to do that on my own. I did need help with that. So that was frustrating as somebody who likes to do things on their own. That was kind of frustrating. I had to uh, get in the hot car with no AC, spend 20 bucks on three gallons of gas. But I am super thankful for the guys down at Pedigo Redding. Big shout out to those guys. Follow them over here on Instagram. Anyway, it feels so good to be, uh, to be back up and running. Thanks again to all you guys who have been watching and following. Really appreciate you. Again, go follow my new Instagram, jadoride73. It is slowly but surely building, so thank you to all those guys who have uh, who have moved over to the new page. Again, let's get that original Jado Rides account reported. I'd really love to get that account deleted so that um, I can take the name back. That would be awesome. Don't forget to like this video, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, turn on that notification bell if you uh, want to see more of my videos. Anyway, it's been a long day. Time to uh, get back on the bike and go blow off some steam. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.